Hello and welcome back to Projects in Java. Today we're going to continue our text editor project. We're going to finish our first two classes, the register class and the login class. So let's go to our project. And before we start, I want to go ahead and change this line here to a return statement. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if the user already exists, we're going to return from this function and the user needs to update their information. We're not going to do anything else. And after this while loop, we're going to close the input. So input.close. Then we're going to start creating our <coughs> Next, we'll create a message digest. And this is what's going to hash our password. So that's going to create the encryption. And this is going to be equal to message digest dot get instance. And we're going to call an instance of SHA dash 256. And it's important here that you don't put the new since we're not creating a new message digest. We'll do that import. And we need to add a clause to the catch. Now that we have our message digest, we're going to call md.update. And we're going to pass it our password string. And we're going to pass that as bytes. And then we're going to create a byte array. We'll call this byte data. And it's going to be equal to md.digest. Next, we'll need a string buffer. And the string buffer is going to allow us to change this to hex format. And we'll do that with the for loop. So for int i is equal to 0, i is less than byte data dot length. And i plus plus. And here we'll just append to the string buffer. And we'll call integer.toString. And to that we'll pass byte data at position i. And zero x f f plus zero x one zero zero comma sixteen dot substring of one and so now that our string buffer has our new encrypted password we need to write it out and so we'll call buffered writer output equals new buffered writer and we'll pass that a new file writer and same file passwords.txt. 
and we'll add a boolean parameter here. We'll make this true. And this parameter true means that we are appending to the file. And next we'll write our user information. So first the username, so output.write. And we're going to get the text from the user text field. Plus a space. Plus sb.toString. And plus a new line. Then we'll close the output. It's important that you close the output because if you don't, the file won't be written. And so the last thing we're going to do is go back to the login screen. So we'll just copy this. And that should send us back. Before we test this in our project folder, let's create that file. So just a new text document. And we'll call it passwords. Now let's launch this. Let's go to register. Call this user1. We'll make it password. Confirm it. And register. Now let's see if it was written to the file. And it was. So here's our user, user1. And here's the encrypted password. So now let's close this. And we're going to finish up login so that it checks to see if the password is correct. And so here we'll add some if statements to make sure we're using the right logic for the right button. So if get source is equal to register. We'll do this. Then we also need one for login, so if e.getSource is equal to login. So here we're going to read the file to confirm the username and password. So we'll have a buffered reader. Call this input is equal to new buffered reader. New file reader, passwords.txt. Next, we'll create a string called pass, and we'll set this to null. Then string line is equal to input that read line. So the same strategy that we use for the register class. And we'll add our while loop. So while line does not equal null. Create our string tokenizer again. But this time, if the user text field dot get text. is equal to the next token. Password is going to equal the next token. 
So basically what this is doing is if the users match, the next token is going to be the password that we need to confirm. Okay, so after here we'll call input.close again. And actually we can go to a register class and copy a lot of this. And we're going to copy this to create our string buffer again. And so the basic concept of this is that we created the encrypted password. And the only way to create that encrypted password is to rerun the hash on the original password. And there's no way to go back easily. So right now we have our string buffer, which is holding the encrypted password that we're inputting. And then we're going to compare that to the password that we got from the file. So if pass dot equals, and this is going to be equal to sp dot two string. And if it does match for now, we're just going to print out that the user has logged in. And so before we launch this, just going to make a couple of quick fixes. So here we're looking for passwords.getText. And here we need to read another line. So line is equal to input.readLine. And the last thing that we're passing here is not the password. We're getting the user input. So pass.tf.getPassword. And we'll make this a new string. And now let's launch this. So user one, that's the user we just created. Login. And now the message says you have logged in. So we were able to recreate the encrypted password and check that to the stored password. In our next video, we'll create the menu to see the files that the user already has.